Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back, and it is time to take on the Mad Scientist Assistant. I went ahead and picked up some actual large HP potions, which fill my inventory up a lot. Not incredibly happy about that. I might have to get a little extra inventory space. Um, also, I went ahead and picked up some skills, so we are going to be using... I pretty much just picked up boosts to the ones we already had. There's some that I want to pick up here in the future... Um, but obviously I have to get more skill points to pick them up, so we'll take care of that at a later point in time. But I do have one thing to show in this episode. I did pick up a, I don't know if I picked it up or if I had it already, but it's a passive skill. And we'll, I'll use it in a second here. And then I'll show you what it does. That's the kind of main thing that I added to my arsenal. I'm not at 100%. Which is where it gets its biggest boost. I'm actually going to try to get to 100% here real quick. Before we use it. Yeah, it's going to take too long. Okay. So, it's over on my D-pad now. And it's... It's something balance. Oh, do I have to have 100% to use it? There we go. Rage Absorption is what it's called. At 100%, it's a lot better, but I don't have 100% because I was using it. I was testing I was testing it out, so I used it, but yeah, it's just this raise absorption thing. Looks pretty cool. I like it, um, but let's go down here, and I'll go over it. So I'm using rage absorption common, um, not rage absorption innate, but this absorbs the power of the black spirit to increase AP and attacking attack slash casting speed. Um... Black Spirit Rage minus 100% or Black Rage Speed Rage minus 200%. Uh, for the 100%, it's all AP plus 30 and then Attack Slash Casting Speed plus 25% for 60 seconds. Um, the 200% is all AP plus 50% for 60 seconds and then plus 40% Attack and Casting Speed. Which is kind of crazy, but that's going to be the passive that I... Or the buff I use on this character. Uh, once again, a piece of cake. What a disappointment. He he he. Nothing can stop us. Uh, Greco the Black Crystal Dealer. Having killed plenty of strange creatures, let's head to Keplin to spread the news. As I understand, there are those there who have close ties to Calpheon. He he he. Okay, so we need. We could do. How many of these does it want us? I'm going to take it just to see. Uh, it wants us to kill 80. Okay, we can do that. I can handle that. I'm going to go back here and clear these guys out real quick. I did also get an upgrade for Wheel of Fortune. So we have that now. Critical? I don't know, but that gave me some of the... I've only seen Violent. I don't know what Critical means. I'm going to guess it's just a much more buffed enemy. I'm hoping... I don't know where I have to turn this quest in. It's going to annoy me if I have to come back up here to that node manager to turn it in. I need to adjust where my wires run. These wires right here. They, like, run and they, like, bump up against my leg the whole video. It annoys me. I sit a little different when I'm not recording, so they don't actually hit me when I'm not recording, but... Wait, when I'm recording, they are in a they are a nuisance. Should be able to clear out some enemies. Yeah, actually not that many enemies here. I think I also Yeah, I picked up this attack. Let it cool off and I'll show it again. It's Ravage Rake too. I picked that up as well. I had a bunch of skill points. I had like 200. I hadn't spent like any skill points on this character. I kind of forget which characters I've blown my skill points on and which ones I still need to spend them. But now I need to get about, I would say about 150 more skill points. Maybe a little bit more than that. And then I can, I can upgrade what I want to upgrade. And I think Pretty much have the character specked out the way I want, but I'm missing a cup. What the? 
I was missing. I'm missing a couple of uh, abilities that I really want. I just didn't have enough to to get them all, and I didn't want to spread myself thin on abilities. I would rather. I don't know. I might be wrong for this, but I would rather um, have you know better a couple of better skills leveled all the way than a bunch of skills spread out. I don't know if I'm wrong for that. Why won't it let me attack? I might be wrong for that, but that's how I prefer prefer right now unless someone tells me otherwise okay gotta kill 30 more really okay can we not can we not do that It won't let me use. It won't let me use my right trigger attack. Hmm. All right. A few more of these to go. Twenty-one more. How did that miss? I missed both of them. Might as well use that. I don't think it's gonna matter because I one shot most of the stuff anyway, but. Here. Okay. Okay, cool. I can just turn this into the Black Spirit. Nice. Clear out some of these just to gain a little extra experience. Not gonna ever get this off. <laughs> I saw all three of those Chimeras come and I knew I wasn't getting that off. Okay. Can I get it off now? Nope, I attracted something else. Hey, 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 how was it? Do you feel stronger? Yes. Alright, so we got some, we got black armor stone from that. All right, let's get going out of here. This area is actually not too bad for farming, just simply because the mob density is pretty thick. Um, I need to work better at my speed from mob to mob on the... Okay. Where is it trying to take me? All right, I'm going to just... I'm going to get down to the road. Hopefully... Oh, this could kill me. Let's go over here and fall to this area... Okay. Not the conventional way to get down, but, you know, we did it. It's just easier if you can get off of the mountain, because if you're on the mountain, sometimes that tracking's a little questionable. So it makes it easier if I just get off the market. Or off the mountain. Check out the market here, see if anything I posted sold. Yeah, we did get $168,000. Not bad. Up to 17.7. Got some stuff to sell. We got these armor stones. This should net us 250,000. It's not bad. 200,000 there. Got a couple million to to exchange. So where are we going now? Um, we're going to Keplin, which I don't believe has a central market. They have a storage, I believe, but no central market. I think I have some money. Yeah, I have 718,000 on this character, too. How much were those loyalty... How much is loyalty items? Um, I'm not quite sure I like these um, outfits for the limited anymore. But... For 200 loyalty every day, you get five... Or for 400... You can get about $500,000. Yeah, about 500,000. Um, additional life XP. You can get you can get the blessing of Camus Soul for oh you can only get three total. Get extra storage. It's one slot. Okay. You can get five of those. Tears of the wind. What is this? Rewinds past time. Instantly resurrect dead and destroy personal mount at your spot. 
The mount will be revived with full health and endurance, only functional within 100 meters from the dead or destroyed mount. Interesting. Thick fishing rod. Alien's Tears. That's kind of nice to come by those there. One per day. Does this reset or is it just permanent? Okay, there is no reset on that. There's no reset on that. There's no reset on that. Okay. All right, Greco, Gorda. Uh, my goodness, what a brilliant, beautiful crystal. Is that not the Eye of the Chimera? Uh, could I consider this a gift for having met you? Mm hmm I don't think a light merchant would have visited this place without a purpose. I get the impression that you're here because of something. Do you wish to learn more about the black crystals? There's no need to look at me like that. You could expect as much from a merchant such as myself. Are the profits generated by the extraction mill in Serendia not enough? I can see you're not satisfied by that amount, as I would expect from any merchant of Calpheon. Ha ha ha, you're not in a rush, are you? Business deals are most exciting just before the deal is actually reached. It looks like this will be a long story. How about we take some time to talk about it? Even though you might say this is a self-governed state, I'd still recommend that you meet its officials. Calpheon is quite an interesting place. If you ask me, we'll speak more once you have completed this. Other than that, I welcome you to Calpheon as a member of the Light Merchant Guild. Okay, so we need to sell that. And I think that is it. I believe the storage manager is right here. Actually, nope, that's the general goods. Maybe the, there has to be a goods, or a general, yeah, blah, 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 a storage manager here. We'll wrap around here. And then what fun can we get into in this episode? Currency exchange, please take these off my hands. Got 1.2 mil on this character. Let's see, where are we on the map? We're at Keplin. Let's go down here. I'm going to do a little exploring in this episode, something a little bit different, because I think we might be missing a couple nodes here. Let's go on a little adventure node exploring. Because that is a dead area. I'm sure there's one something there. That's a pretty big dead area of just absolutely nothing. And then what are we looking at for levels around here? I mean, we could go to Sonal. Uh, probably not. Primal Giants, maybe. We could go to Hex... Uh, no, 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 no. We're not leveled enough for Hexa. Um, no, I don't think I ever farmed Rudum. Or Rudum. I don't think I've ever farmed that. We could do one of these areas if we have time in this up. We could probably hit here and then hit here, here, and then come back down here. It's probably the best idea. Oh, look, there's a node here. Wow, how easy. Node manager. Alright, so picked up that node. I don't think these rocks here are going to be a node, but might as well check. What's that node called? Tart Rock Fort. I'm sure... No, I checked that before. That's not a node. It looks like it would be a node, but it's not. Because they... They make a lot of bridges in this game. Eh, that might be a node down there. Not sure. Um, I don't see a node manager here. Okay. Let's go over to this house then. I'm stuck. See if this is a node. Mm, I don't think it is. There's enemies here. I guess that doesn't necessarily... Ooh, baby. Stone rats. They don't even look like rats. They're just a stone. Let's call them the stone rocks. I mean, they're just rocks. Oh, look, a mature stone rat. I guess they are rats when they're up. And this was a... Okay, I guess this was. These things give, these things give like, no experience. Uh, okay. Okay, so we want to go over here to Gahaku Plain. I mean, I'm, I'm not above slaughtering a bunch of rats to get knowledge. Alright, 
let's get out of here. Stop killing the... Stop kill... What am I doing? Stop killing the poor rats. I don't think I've... Eh, I, I mean, I've come here before, obviously. But I don't think I've... I don't think I've farmed... Okay, I'm stuck on a rock. I don't think I've ever farmed these giant warriors. What are they giving us in terms of experience? Not bad. That's not bad at all. They are a little spread out, but... That's not bad at all. Not bad in terms of experience at all. Actually, I think I did come here and farm this one. On my... Did I do it on the witch? I think I did it on the witch. I'm not entirely sure, but I think so. I think I came here on the witch. Got some earrings. Nice. Is that guy still following me? fortune the mob density is the one issue with this area it's a little why was that so dark against that wall and it is at night i mean we are getting we are farming this at night which makes it go a little bit quicker I never really see the dramatic difference in enemies um, at night. I, they never feel a whole lot stronger. I wish it was kind of more, I don't know, not perilous because you don't want to limit people to farming when they can farm. But I wish it was a little bit more difficult at night so it made like a little bit of sense. But like right now, it's... It, I don't know. Just doesn't even feel like the night matters, except just go farm at night, because it's going to give you better rewards. That's what it feels like. Totally whiffed those attacks. Oh, you know what I need to do? I've been wasting precious experience I could have been having. I didn't put on another T. I'm not used to that yet. I have all those T's and I'm not I'm not I'm not used to uh not used to farming with the T's on. Alright, I'm not gonna go yeah, I'm not gonna go that way. Hello? Okay. Get this guy. Let's get this trio over here first. Is that guy like laying down in the ground? I did not see that one dude. Uh, that guy's farming. Don't want to steal his. These guys. Ooh, got a black armor crystal. Nice. Let's see. Let's go over here. Can't hit this dude to save my life. Oh my gosh. Back, back up, back up. I wish they were just in slightly bigger groups than groups of two. The groups of two just kind of, I don't know, they don't kill it. It just, okay, this is not where I want to be. 
Oh, what a surprise. Mountain goats do not give good experience. Who would have guessed? the boars are are fine yeah the boars are fine those guys that are following almost to 48 I'm not excited to get into the where I can get PvP to death, because that's coming. Yeah, that's just my one issue with this area, is just mob density. It's just a little lackluster. And they're not huge... There's not enough that you can really aggro a bunch and then run into another group. Like, if they were groups of two, like they are, but there was another group close enough that you could run an aggro to them, I would like this, but that's not really the case. I mean, their tracking is a lot longer than some other enemies, which is really nice, but that doesn't really make up for the fact that some of them are... I mean, this area over here is pretty nice. It's a little bit more... It has a little bit higher density, but... Obviously, you have to go fight other things um, and wait for them to respawn. And the other things areas are kind of not what I wanted to do there. Are a little bit lackluster. Not going to lie. I mean, it's not... I mean, every area in the game cannot be like a god tier farm spot. Like That would just, that would just defeat the point, but I'm just saying. Parts of this area feel just a little bit lackluster. I think, though, if they had the mo- Why well, won't let me do my thing? Let me wheel a fortune. There we go. I think if they let the mob density be too thick, you would run into issues, so they'd probably have to turn down the- I can't quite decide if I like more mobs, less experience per mob, but more mobs, so it ends up evening out, or if I prefer higher experience per mob, but there's less mobs. Kind of a hard choice. All right, so we uh, we went ahead and we clean. There's a lot of guys here, right on this wall here that I never found. Interesting. Never saw this wall. That would have been kind of nice. And then we got a three spot over here. All right, but that's going to do it for this er 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 this episode and this area, because I, I don't know, I don't think we come back to this area. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have and not. And we will start the next episode with the next boss, I think. Uh, I'll complete the side st or the pre-boss stuff uh, off video. Oops. I'll complete the pre-boss stuff off video, and then we will start the episode with the boss. So I hope you guys enjoyed long outro there. Sorry about that, but I'll catch you guys later. Peace.